Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if you get the page fault in non-paged area error in Windows 11. The first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update the drivers. To do this right click the Windows button then select device manager from the list of options. In here all you have to do is to double click the disk drives to expand it and then right click the problematic device and select update driver. Now you can just click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find and install the best possible driver on your PC. You can also uninstall the problematic device if you want by right click it and then selecting uninstall device. Now just confirm with pressing on uninstall and then after your PC restarts Windows will reinstall the device again. You can also reset your device. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon. In here make sure to select system on the left pane and then scroll down until you find and select the recovery tab. Now just click on the reset this PC button next to reset PC and then go with your preferences to start the reset procedure. Another useful solution is to disable the automatic paging file size management. To do this press the Windows button then type view advanced and then select view advanced system settings from the search results. In here make sure to click settings in the performance tab and then simply go to the advanced tab and click on the change button next to virtual memory. Now all you have to do is simply uncheck the automatically managed paging file size for all drive box and then click on OK to save the changes. Another great solution is to run the troubleshooter. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then on the left pane make sure to select system and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot option. In here click on the drop down menu and select the run automatically then notify me. Then wait on your device to detect any problems with your hardware. The error will be identified once the scan is complete. You can also check your disk if you want to solve this issue. To do this just press the Windows button then type in CMD and run command prompt as an administrator. In here type the following command and then press enter. You will see that the check this command will notify you that it cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. So you can schedule this volume to be checked next time the system restarts. To do this just press on Y and then press enter. So now when the system restarts the check this command will start checking for your disk. But in the same time you can also do a memory diagnostic check. To do this just close the command prompt and then press the windows button and then type memory diagnostic. Now select windows memory diagnostic from the search results. In here you can just click on restart now and check for problems and this is basically what the check this will do as well. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to take in consideration. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.